Glasgow program is really a fast track opportunity to try and move um, athletes with potential into performance environments in sport. So what we're looking for really is people with the right physical and mental abilities who feel that they have got the drive and determination to to make the process work, to move them quickly as we can into high performance sport. So we have the outcome of the Glasgow Commonwealth Games in 2014. So what we're after is um, people who will compete for Scotland at that time. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Oh, yeah. what, what we're after is, is females for cycling just now. So obviously there are different cycling events in, the, in 2014. So what we're asking for on the day is for females to come forward between the sort of age range of 16, 17 and 30 uh, who feel they have the potential and what we're going to do on the day is, is assess them physically some uh, phys psychological assessment as well is to check their suitability for, for cycling events in, in Glasgow. My name's Gary Wallace, I'm Performance Manager with Scottish Cycling. <laughs> Goal for Glasgow means a lot to Scottish Cycling. We've done a lot of medal analysis and looked at where there were strengths and weaknesses in the sport. Um, we decided that the female athletes was an area that traditionally in the sport we've struggled to recruit athletes into. Uh, so working with Tony we've managed to get to a, a much wider audience of potentially new athletes that, have come out, that could come into the system and achieve a lot of medals for us and, and that is the main emphasis on medal achievement. Looking for a support system that then evolves with these new athletes that we maybe haven't worked with before so there's a lot of learning that we're, we're doing there. Um, I think Tony and the Institute's expertise of how to go and publicise this and that's been a real struggle for us as a small sport It's how do we get out there to the wider public so that's been a fantastic help and then just the high, you know, you see these people on, on the day testing, doing all that expertise that then supports the cycling programme um, we can then come into it with the bikes and do a bit of uh, testing we do six second tests uh, three minute tests and because we're looking for all the different disciplines we're looking for road track mountain bike and then sprint on the track as well so it's quite a diverse sport that we're looking for so we're we are looking for a lot of different athlete types the personality of the athlete is about that desire that will to win and that's what we're looking for especially when they're maybe coming into a completely new sport um, there'll be a steep, steep learning curve and I'm sure there'll be a lot of tears along the way about how we, we kind of get them up to speed quickly. So we'll help them with their bikes and kit. They'll have a, access to a coach, training camps, and we feel that maybe within that 10, 12 week period we should be able to get them up to speed. And then from there, it's up, up to them really and how they take it forward. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Go. Oh, that's good. For me, being an elite athlete is all about the hours, it's all about putting the effort in, it's about changing your schedule to fit around your score, it's about really, really enjoying it and just getting the absolute most out of what you do. And if you can achieve that, but also train at a really high level, then that's an elite athlete. Well, I've never cycled apart from at the gym, and obviously as a child on childhood bikes. Uh, so, yep, yeah, great experience to come down and give it a try. And was just so impressed by the whole setup that there seems to be going on in Scotland. So it was a really good chance for, for us to come and see what was going on. My name's Natalie Dumman, and I'm a talent ID scientist. My name's Sarah Hood, and I'm a talent ID scientist. <laughs> as part
part of the UK talent team. I actually work for the English Institute of Sport, which um, and we're a joint team with the English Institute and um, UK Sport. And we also work very closely with um, Tony Stanger here at the Scottish Institute. Uh, so we really have a joined up talent strategy across the whole of the UK. So we've just run a, a big cycling focus programme called um, Girls for Gold. And uh, we were keen to work with, uh, with Tony and the Scottish Institute on this programme to um, ensure that any learnings transferred across the two programmes and perhaps there might be some athletes that could, uh, could move between the two programmes as well. So ultimately, we're all working towards the same thing, I think, which is uh, to find some potential medalists for London 2012 and uh, Glasgow 2014. faster, stronger. Um, I applied for Go for Glasgow because um, I wanted to have a new challenge in my life and I have um, a big passion for sport in general. The last um, from about a minute and a half to about 40 seconds to go was just tough and then it kind of, you knew it was coming to the end, it got a bit, you keep going, keep going. And I think some of the sports as well, people that maybe aren't part of cycling clubs and things like that, but actually do cycling a lot in their spare time. I think there's a lot of talent there that doesn't get found in the more traditional ways. So I think doing it in this sort of way is really important. It would be a, a culmination of a lot of hard work and it would just be an amazing thing to wear that national vest and come away with a piece of metal. We were very pleased with the outcomes on the day. We had over 50 girls sign up to come, up, come along. We tested 44 on the day, could do the, the full testing protocol. One of the important things for us was finding not only girls with the right term physiological potential, but also psychologically and mentally we're going to give it, give it a good go and really get stuck into testing. So we, we were delighted with what we, what we found in the day, that the girls all came and gave their best. But also, it's not just about giving your best, it's being, being good enough. So we had a really good range of, of um, small number of sprinters who stood out and a small number of endurance girls who really stood out, but we also had a good crop in the middle of, of youngish girls who, who actually showed the potential that maybe, maybe they could do something with these five and a bit years of training. So it was a, all in all very encouraging, very positive and a, a great mindset from those who did turn up. The next part of the process is we're going to sit down with cycling uh, and discuss some of the results and some of the athletes on the day with a view to taking um, a number forward into the next part of the process. What we're going to do is, rather than being able to sort of single it down to sort of maybe 10 or so athletes, I think cycling is going to invite a few more along. We're going to have a look at them on bikes, do some road testing, getting used to riding in a bunch, do some mountain biking, and then we're going to, going to try and reduce that number down again. So the overall call to the athletes, because it was so high, we've been, we've been able to take a, a bigger number through to this next phase of assessment. But from that, we're going to try and whittle down to the, the handful of, of girls who have the potential to really represent Scotland in 2014.